It was a beautiful summer day, and I was feeling excited to meet some new friends. I had heard so much about them, but I was still nervous. I had never been to this park before, so I wasn't sure what to expect. I had been told that I would meet Daisy, Rose, and Violet, and that they were all great people. I was looking forward to getting to know them and making some new friends. I was excited to meet Daisy, the fourth new friend I was making. She had a bright, bubbly personality that was infectious. She was always laughing and smiling, and her enthusiasm was contagious. We talked about our shared interests and quickly became close friends. We discussed our plans for the summer and our favorite places to go. I felt like I had known Daisy for years and I was so glad to have her in my life. As the sun began to set, the flower friends gathered around a large picnic blanket. They had prepared a special treat for the day's adventure. On the blanket was a selection of delicious fruits, nuts, and berries. Each of the flower friends was delighted to find something they could enjoy. The colors and flavors were a delightful surprise. Everyone was filled with joy and laughter as they shared their treats. As the evening came to a close, the flower friends thanked each other for a wonderful day and shared a hug before departing. narrator and their friends had a day that they would never forget. The magical secret garden, filled with vibrant colors and lush vegetation, was a sight to behold. The birds sang in the background, creating a peaceful atmosphere that was perfect for the group to explore and play. They shared delicious treats, laughed and created memories that would stay with them forever. It was truly a day to remember. After the day of remembrance had passed, it was time to create new memories. Everyone gathered together to share stories of the past and to make plans for the future. We laughed and talked about our dreams and ambitions and how we could work together to make them a reality. We shared moments of joy and sorrow and celebrated the life of our loved one. We made plans for more trips and activities together and looked forward to creating more special memories in the days to come race, to come and to come race. As the sun set, we all felt a renewed sense of hope and optimism for the future. It was time to say goodbye. We had shared so many happy memories together, but now it was time for us to part ways. I could feel the sadness in the air as we hugged one last time. We said our final goodbyes, and I watched as they drove away. I knew this was the end of an era, but I also knew that our friendship would live on forever. As I took one last look, I promised myself that I would never forget this day. After saying goodbye, the family gathered together one last time to give a special gift to their beloved family member. Each person had a unique item to share, from a handmade quilt to a sentimental photo album. Together, these gifts represented the love and memories shared between the family members. As they presented their gifts, Tears of joy and sorrow mixed together as the family members embraced one another for the final time. This special gift was a reminder of the bond they shared and a symbol of hope that they would reunite again in the future. As the day came to a close, it was time for the final goodbye. 
everyone gathered around and shared their fondest memories of the day and exchanged promises to stay in touch. Each promise was that no matter how far away we were, we would always remember the special bond we shared and keep it alive in our hearts. We all hugged and said our goodbyes with tears in our eyes, knowing that this day would be remembered forever. We then gave each other a special gift, a reminder of our friendship and the promise that we had made to stay connected. We all parted ways with a heavy heart, but with the assurance that our memories of this day would remain in our hearts forever. The day was filled with bittersweet memories, and although it was hard to say goodbye, it was a day that will never be forgotten. Everyone left with a special gift, a reminder of the promise made that day. As the sun set, it marked the end of an emotional day, but also the beginning of a new chapter in life. I continued my journey and soon arrived at the home of Rose. She was a tall woman with bright eyes and a warm smile. She welcomed me into her home and we began to chat about our lives. Rose had a kind and caring personality and I could tell that she was someone who was always looking out for others. We talked about our families and our hobbies and I felt like I was talking to an old friend friend. We shared stories and laughed until it was time for me to leave. I was so glad to have met Rose, and I knew that I had made a new friend. I was a bit nervous when I approached the third girl, Violet. She was a bit taller than the other two and had a kind, gentle face. She smiled warmly as I introduced myself, and we started talking about our shared interests. We discovered that we both enjoyed reading and had similar tastes in music. I was relieved to find a connection with her, and we soon started chatting and laughing like old friends. Violet was a great listener, and I felt comfortable talking to her about anything. We ended up having a great conversation, and I was glad to have made a new friend. Daisy, Rose, and Violet. I was feeling more relaxed and excited to get to know them better. We talked about our hobbies, interests, and our families. I was surprised to find out that all three of us shared a similar passion for art and music. We decided to exchange contact information so we could stay in touch and maybe meet up for some fun activities. We laughed and joked and I could tell that I had made three new friends that day. I was so glad that I had taken the chance to introduce myself and get to know these wonderful people. The day ended with a surprise. After saying goodbye to Violet, Daisy and Rose invited me to join them for a picnic in the park. We had a great time talking and laughing and sharing stories. We even played a few games of tag. It was the perfect way to end the day, and I was so happy to have made new friends. As the sun started to set, we said our farewells and went our separate ways. I was still in awe that I had made three new friends in such a short amount of time. Narrator and their new friends, Daisy, Rose, and Violet, decided to explore the park further. As they ventured deeper into the garden, the narrator felt as if they had stepped into a magical place. The sun was setting, casting a golden light on the colorful flowers and trees. The birds sang in the background, creating a peaceful atmosphere. The narrator was filled with a sense of wonder and delight as they realized 
they had stumbled upon a secret paradise. I stepped out into the garden and was immediately struck by its beauty. Everywhere I looked, I saw vibrant colors and lush vegetation. I wandered around, exploring the winding pathways and discovering hidden gems. The air was fragrant with the scent of flowers, and I felt as if I had stepped into a magical world. I marveled at the different plants and trees, each one more beautiful than the last. I was captivated by the beauty of the garden and the peacefulness it brought. I could have stayed there for hours, just taking in the beauty and tranquility of the place. Exploring the garden revealed many hidden treasures. The path was lined with bright and colorful flowers of all shapes and sizes. Each flower was unique and special in its own way. As I walked, I noticed a small pond filled with lily pads and frogs croaking in the background. On the other side of the pond, I found a small grove of trees with a hidden swing. As I continued my journey, I spotted a secret garden with a variety of plants and vegetables. It was a magical place where I could spend hours discovering new and exciting things. In the magical garden, the flower friends were always up for some fun. They would often come up with creative games to play together. From hide and seek in the trees to tag in the meadows, the flower friends always found ways to make the garden even more special, even more special. They also enjoyed playing music together, singing songs and reciting poems. Each game was a chance for the flower friends to share laughter, learn new things, and make even more memories. These games were a reminder of the joy and friendship that was shared in the magical garden. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss an update from us. We'll be bringing you more exciting stories and videos like this one. See you next time.